fact that I could even think about saying, I am thankful for such a thing, for cancer. Sounds crazy, right? But it's true. I'm thankful for having had cancer because it gave me you. I know it sounds ridiculous. I was not supposed to be able to have you because I had cancer. And yet, in so many ways, my being sick put me on the path to you. Had I not been sick, I would have married someone other than your dad. My life would have gone in an entirely different direction. I might have even been happy. I might have had a baby, but it would not have been you. Being sick made everything different. It magnified even the smallest of things, from the taste of Chinese food that I ate on Wednesdays after chemo to the sound of the phone ringing when my doctor called. It made me feel more, and it made me feel less. Every fight was harder, every celebration more triumphant. I didn't really think about my own mortality, despite being sick. Sure, there were moments, moments where I allowed myself to be scared by the doctors as they detailed every possible statistic and percentage, moments where I was mad as hell at God and the world for putting me through it all. But despite the anger and the confusion and the sense of injustice, with each new day, I really only wanted one thing. I wanted a baby. I wanted to be a mom. When I did get healthy, I was alone. Well, except for the elephant in the room that trumpeted every time I had a nonspecific symptom. I was probably more worried after I was healthy than when I was actually sick, which doesn't make any sense. But I spun my wheels round and round until I decided to train for a marathon. I wasn't really a runner, and my doctors thought it was something I would never be able to do, which in my non-conforming, who do you think you are brain, meant it was the perfect thing to do. <laughs> so I trained, and I ran, slowly, and I ran some more. But still, the chorus of what I wanted rang in my head. I met your dad training for that marathon. And eventually, I allowed myself to dream. Maybe, just maybe, I could be a mom, despite what the doctor said, despite that horribly toxic medicine that ran through my veins. The chorus in my head rang stronger with each passing day, wanting one thing, to be a mom. And yet, we were told we couldn't, because I was a cancer survivor, because those medicines to make me healthy had taken away that possibility. And yet, there you were. I'll never forget that day. At five weeks, you're not even the size of a grain of rice. The doctors were not sure you would survive. I was afraid to love you, to celebrate, to believe. But then, there you were, sucking on a thumb or a finger or some random tiny body part on every single ultrasound. <laughs> It was you who taught me about strength and courage and resilience. Sure, I survived cancer, and sure, I ran two marathons, but those journeys had nothing on hearing your heartbeat or feeling you kick inside my belly. How could I not believe in this little being that had overcome every possible obstacle to find its way into the world? I wondered. I doubted, I worried, and yet there you were, strong and there and growing. You had made it this far. You were a survivor. You were my miracle. Had I not been sick, I would not have learned to believe in miracles. I would not have learned to believe in much of anything. But I was, and I did, because of you. Seven years later, divorced from the man I only met, because of the marathon I only ran, because of my doctors, I think back and I gaze in your direction. Your smile reminds me of the power of faith and the power of love, the power of overcoming things I never thought I would be able to handle, things I never thought I could get through. So yes, I'm thankful.
having had cancer. Because without having been that patient, that person, that me, I would never have had you.